write a nice little something, something to each one of the graduating seniors so that one day when I'm rich and famous, you'll have a signed copy of this book. Hopefully you'll never get rid of it. This one is to Mr. Anthony Eason. Where are you, Mr. Anthony? Anthony, you come up here, man. I'm going to read this to you so that you can at least have an audio copy of it so you can know what I wrote. If I struggle reading it, you probably will too. Anthony, congratulations. You have graduated from one season of life and are about to embark on an even more interesting one. Each new season of life requires renewed resolve and refreshed passion. I pray the Lord will open doors for you that would give you the opportunity to glorify Him while blessing you simultaneously. I pray that you always have a sensitive heart for the things of God, that you never lose your appetite for all things Jesus, that you remain committed to Him no matter where your destiny takes you. I love you and am very proud of you, Pastor Clifton. Would you give him a hand? Absolutely nothing you accomplish will place your Christianity in the shadows. Your love and sincere worship of God is a characteristic every parent dreams their children will have. I know God has his hand upon you. I know you will allow that hand to guide you. Only be sensitive to his spirit and his word. May the gracious hand of God, the favor of God, and the goodness of God be your daily companion. I love you, Noki. Miss Kelly Fontenot. <laughs> Miss Kelly, I'm so very proud of you. It seems the Lord has his hand on you in a very special way. Difficulties in life bear the fingerprint of God. He does all things well. Never forget that. You are kind, gentle, loving, and compassionate. He would not, it would not surprise me. If he ends up placing you in a ministry where all four of these characteristics are being utilized. I believe your future is bright. And as Paula and I will be constantly cheering for you as you go on to do what he has designed for you to do. We love you and believe in you, Pastor Cliff Dozier. Isn't that great? Thank you. 